in forest economics it is an important question to know that how the present value of timber can be maximized since it's a decision in future because you want to know that when we should cut the trees so it involves the process of uh, finding the present value we have understood it in the previous example you can refer back to it in which we found the maximized value of uh, wine that was the present value of wine so let's start with this economic application uh, the value of timber already planted is this so this is the uh, value of the timber that is already there in the forest and it can be assessed with the help of this equation in which the value depends upon time and this is the exact uh, formula through which we can find it so one option is that we can harvest it now that is time is not pa has not passed and uh, t is equal to zero and if we consider t is equal to zero that if we harvest now it means that we will put t is equal to zero in uh, this equation and the value will be equal to one units so we can calculate the value for one and this means that we have an initial condition that we can use whenever necessary but we are trying to maximize the uh, value of the timber and what should be the time at which we should harvest is the question that we need to answer there are a few assumptions one is the upkeep cost that, that the forest is not taken care of especially by investing something or by spending some cost it is being taken care of automatically by nature sun cost uh, are there as the plants are already grown not being grown currently moreover the plants are not planted by uh, us it means that they have been there which means that there are some costs if they have been planted by any individual or any firm those costs are lost and we are not going to include in our analysis those costs so by dispelling these two costs we know that the overall cost will be zero and when they are zero then in this formula cost will reduce to nothing and profit will be equal to the revenue so this is the formula of the present value uh, of the timber so we have the value of v so we can put this in the formula this is the value of v which was given and this is the value or the formula of present value so we are going to put the value here as you can see this v is now substituted with this value so we if we take the natural log we will get this expression and the natural log is uh, going to help us to get rid of the exponential uh, element from here so it will be cancelled out here we'll be left with minus rt which is mentioned here and here the part of the uh, value the natural log of which is being calculated will come in the beginning using the uh, power rule of uh, logarithms in which we deal with the power in this case it is the um, exponent because the variable was in the exponent so we know this uh, simple rule of uh, natural log and then we have this expression now we know that uh, the first order condition needs to be applied in order to come to the maximization point this is the derivative of the left hand side which was natural log of a that is the log of a and the value of a itself we know about the differentiation of the natural log its its differentiation would be this and here we can see its application natural log of a is being differentiated on uh, the right hand side 
we have taken the derivative natural log of 2 will come outside as a coefficient whereas the derivative of the natural log uh, of square root t will be equal to this and then the derivative of t will be equal to 1 therefore r will be left so we have taken the derivative and uh, further we can simplify it as you can see a little bit of simplification is done however this uh, zero on the right hand side is the indication of the first order condition now this term uh, since we have substituted equal to zero this term will be reduced to zero when gets shifted to the right hand side and now we have a relationship between r and t which can be written like this that is r and uh, it can also be written like uh, t in terms of r in terms of t we can write it however we are at this time interested in that time period in which the present value of the timber will be maximized so if we use this we can come to uh, another interesting conclusion and we can give it a suitable name it is basically the number of years but this is the optimum number because it is that a certain number where the uh, value of the present the present value of the timber will be maximized so if we have some values we can try to solve it and uh, we can also try to interpret the uh, relationship between the two variables from this equation we can see that there is an inverse relationship between the two So an inverse relation will be there. Uh, greater discount rate will lead to a uh, smaller value uh, or smaller present value of the timber. Numerically, if we have these uh, values, if the discount rate is 5% and uh, time span is 48 years, then we can substitute the values and come to some conclusion. This is the uh, first derivative that we found and uh, we are writing it here again. And this is the simplified version of it in which t status is there. So we are going to use this value of discount rate and t in order to come to a conclusion. So we are going to put the value of t and r here. So after substituting these values we have the present value of the timber after 48 years.